Hey, good afternoon. It's Monday, March 9th. It's later in the day today, so this thought is coming to you later than normal. But I want to get this out to you today. Observe the stock market today. Observe continuing concerns about the coronavirus, about the uh, oil crisis in the Middle East, which probably has more to do with the stock market than the coronavirus. But we are a nation continually about fear. And we don't want to let those fears infect us in the church or into our families. And the Bible's message is clear that God is king. In Psalm 29, it ends with these words. The Lord sits enthroned over the flood. The Lord sits enthroned as king forever. May the Lord give strength to his people. May the Lord bless his people with peace. See, this is not a hope so invocation or benediction or just random thought. This is the confidence of the Spirit of God coming through the psalmist to proclaim to us God's peace. David is saying here, listen carefully, may the Lord give strength to his people. May the Lord bless his people with peace. See, David is confident of God's power. David is confident of God's ability to care for us. So when there's chaos all, chaos all around us, God remains enthroned. He is the God of peace. See, peace is not something that is dependent upon my circumstance. Peace is not the absence of conflict. Peace is knowing God in the middle of conflict. Peace is knowing to follow God when everything else is falling apart. Because if we don't follow God, whatever plan we come up with, it only makes us more vulnerable and more susceptible to the chaos. So today, no matter whether it's the coronavirus, the stock market fears, the own struggles that you have in your life and the doubts that we have, God remains enthroned as king. He brings peace. And he is a God to be praised. Let that center your thoughts this day. And every time that you are confronted with the troubles that we see, remember David's words here. God sits enthroned on high. And his son, who died for us, will never leave us or forsake us or abandon us. That, brothers and sisters, is peace. Hang on to that this day for your everyday thought for your thought of peace. For our God is a good, gracious, loving, and powerful King. See you tomorrow. You have a great day. And again, thanks so much for being here for these everyday thoughts. Lord bless. Bye-bye.